All right, in this video, I will be just focusing on free Pascal for Windows. And right now I'm using R40 of Raster Master. So if you're using this version or newer, everything should apply. And I'm using free Pascal 3.0. And I don't think this is the latest, but I don't think it'll matter. Anyway, so let's run the uh, first demo. And as you can see, we have uh, this showing up on, on our screen. This is the uh, circle I drew here. Uh, the colors are different because we can only have one palette type and I set it so that it uses the uh, palette type from this image which is located below here. And um, we achieved the uh, transparency uh, in the shapes here using the masking. And uh, let me just go to the code now. So let's start off the uh, palette. So let's let's first take a look at the uh, the file that we're including. So it's shape.inc. I exported this earlier, and so we have uh, the palette, the uh, image, and this goes on for several pages. Basically, it's uh, just a lot of code in array format. So that's how we're storing the images. And uh, once they're included in the uh, program, uh, basically we just uh, use them with the put image command here and uh, they, they show up just fine. Uh, the only trick we're doing here is uh, we're using masking to uh, create the uh, transparent effect. So we create two images, one the regular image and one the mask. The mask we uh, display first using the and uh, operator and we use the regular image we display using the or operator. These two combined will create the uh, transparent image. And uh, so that's how that first part works and uh, that's available through file, export, res, text, include. So that's how I was able to get that. Let's uh, let's just fill this up here. Uh, where's our fluff fill? Right here. I'll re-export it again. And if we go back to our code, and run it now we will see that our shape is filled. So that's how easy it is to go back and forth with uh, modifying images and loading them up. Now, I have another option for exporting, and that's using the uh, export binary file. This saves the same data, but in a, a binary file format. With Turbo Pascal, you can use the uh, binary to object bin obj.exe to convert these um, to an object file and then link them uh, with the uh, external procedure, procedure keyword external and with the uh, dollar sign L you can link the, uh, the file and that can be accessed uh, easily through, through the built-in commands. Uh, with free Pascal it doesn't have the same link option, but what it does have is uh, it has its own uh, binary to object utility. And let me go into that. Uh, let me just exit here and bin to obj. And this is it right here. 
And what we can do with this is almost the same thing, but it just creates a huge array. So let me, I will convert this to, so we're going to convert this shapes.res. And we have to give it a, a constant name. Um, I'll call it res images two. And we have to give it input file. So our input file is the uh, shapes dot res. Now, if you execute it like this, it just dumps everything into the screen. What I can do. I have to let it finish now. Okay. What I can do is redirect it to uh, shapes two dot inc, and let's. Uh, go back into free Pascal. So I will be flipping over to, this is a modified version of the uh, demo we we're just looking at, but this uses uh, shapes.2inc. And if we take a look at that file, it's just one huge array. You'll notice that it's very big here. So instead of having separate uh, items we have all just one huge array and the way we access things now is I've had to write a little bit of code uh, so this simulates the functionality I used with the Turbo Pascal so I created like a little res uh, routines basically to allow me to access all this now from the huge array so here they are right here um, get res index get res name, get res signature. And in order for these to work, we basically provide the, uh, the starting address of that array. So it's a simple, so this is the array name and with the at sign in front of it, that tells it the, uh, that's our uh, address. So let's compile this, hopefully it works. Uh, here it is and again I didn't set the palette but if we go back and uncomment that So here it is, and just to prove that that actually worked, I'm going to color this again. Let's uh, paint it something else, re-export it. exit here and basically we will run the uh, the conversion utility again go back into our program and if we run again and I think it worked but I'm not quite sure um, Let's uh, leave the palette the way it was. Okay, yeah, I did because it changed to yellow here. 
it's hard to tell by using the uh, the palette and the uh, girl image because it's it doesn't give the uh, true uh, color image. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, let me just take a quick look at. I think okay. There's one more thing I need to go over. So if you've been paying attention, um, you notice that I'm using PTC graph here, and uh, there's also the standard graph uh, and uh, Win CRT. So I'm not quite sure what the difference is, but I do know that uh, this one, the regular graph, is slower. So if we run the same thing, I'm going to bring it to the screen here. Uh, let me move this out of here. So notice how slow it is drawing everything. Yeah, not good. But if we switch over to PTC CRT and PTC graph, let's run the uh, same demo again. I will bring this in here. And wait for it. There you go. See that that happened instantly. So I don't know why the uh, just the regular graph unit is so slow, but you may consider using the PTC graph. It seems to do everything but just a, just a whole lot faster. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. Uh, there's a few more things I need to get done. Um, the uh, palette tools here don't show uh, free Pascal anywhere here. Uh, that will be added in the future, but the palette exports are working through here. So you can choose through here and the uh, export to binary and export to text file. Anyway, again, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.